Now, 2021 has been a very hard year for a lot of people with the pandemic going on. And then at the very last moment, December 31st, 2021, Betty White dies at the age of 99. Well, unfortunately, we have some terrible breaking news to share on this final day of 2021. Comedian and American icon Betty White has died just days short of her 100th birthday. CNN has not yet learned a cause of her death, but her life remarkable and vibrant to the very end. Uh, she almost made it to 100 years old. She died just a few weeks before her birthday. Her birthday is January 17th, born 1922. Now on December 31st, Betty White passed away in her sleep from natural causes. In this house right here. I don't want to spend too much time standing in front of the house pointing a camera at it. Her family is there and I want to respect their privacy. But I really wasn't sure what to expect driving up here. Down on Hollywood Boulevard where we live, her star, Betty White's star, there's a whole bunch of flowers and pictures and people mourning her death. And I was kind of expecting that there would be we're hoping that there'd be some flowers or wreaths or something up here at the gate to our home where she passed. But it's nothing. Instead, it's just quiet and the sound of birds, which is fitting because Betty White absolutely loved animals. To look into the eyes of a 300-pound gorilla and have her tell you what she's thinking is truly humble. She's right into my eyes and I'm right into hers. There's a connection, like an invisible connection between you, that at that moment, nothing else around you exists. I know it sounds crazy, but I've seen it. It's like seeing the humanity of a different species. Now this is one of two houses that she owns. The other one, uh, she built her dream home with her third husband, Alan Ludden. I think that's his last name. He was the, the host of a TV show called Password. This is the lovely star of Hollywood and television, Alan Ludden's beautiful wife, Betty White. And now, here's your host on Password, Alan Ludden. And that's where Betty and he met. And he passed away in 81, just before their 18th wedding anniversary. But they built this beautiful house overlooking the ocean in Carmel. Northern California. And ultimately that's where she wanted to be. But because of the pandemic, she had to be down here for whatever reason. It's a good day. How can anything go wrong? It's a good day from morning till night. Betty White's cheerful Hollywood career began in her teens, and by her 20s, she was a fixture on television with her own daily talk show. Ahead of the times, White co-founded her own production company in 1952. She worked on a variety of television and film projects over the years before turning a 1973 guest appearance on The Mary Tyler Moore Show into a permanent role. White was a scene stealer as the man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens. I think a man should be virile and macho and just reeking with masculinity. <laughs> uh, everybody knows Betty White has been in all kinds of movies and all kinds of TV shows. She's been around for quite a long time, and to be quite honest, I thought she was going to live forever. You just couldn't imagine a world without Betty White. With that being said, my three favorite roles of Betty White was in the movie Lake Placid where she played the old woman who was feeding the alligator the full live cows. Uh. 
And then she says that, that famous line uh, to the police officer, uh, this is the point where if I had a dick, I'd tell you to suck it. Classic Betty White. <laughs> the other one, Golden Girls. <laughs> It's not that funny. <laughs> I know. I think I better keep the lid on this paint thinner. With the Golden Girls, I got to play with those silly ladies every week. So that, and I loved Rose Nyland. She was positive, and she was, she wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer, but she wasn't dumb. She was just terminally naive. Who doesn't love the Golden Girls? I even have Golden Girls pajamas. I'm not lying, I seriously do. She was absolutely classic in that role. They all were. Golden Girls is just one of those shows. And then the other one, all of her appearances on Saturday Night Live, including the muffin skit, where she brought her muffins for the ladies to try. Look it up if you haven't seen it. I absolutely love living here in Hollywood. And this little walkway right here, this is the walkway that they build for the Oscars. Whenever you watch the Oscars with the red carpet, it's all right here. Basically, it's an outdoor mall. But straight ahead is the Jimmy Kimmel Live Theater. That's not why we're here today. Nope. We're here to visit Betty White's star on the Walk of Fame. But it's just walking history. As soon as we turn the corner, you're going to see the El Capitan. It blows my mind every single time we come down here. Every single time. It's not even the weekend, and there are a ton of people here in Hollywood. I mean, a ton of people. The building that's right behind me, you remember this? Icons of Darkness. We were here whenever they first opened up. It is filled with horror props and costumes. And from what I hear, they're getting ready to close and open up that bigger space that I was telling you about. I think it opens up in February, so expect a video coming soon. But for what we want, which is Betty White's star, we have to go further down Hollywood Boulevard. So we're gonna go on a little bit of a walk here. Aww. I love the different cosplayers, the people that dress up. There's two straight ahead. avoiding people as much as they possibly can. <laughs> it's an art form. Now walking down to her star, I might as well stop and show you a few different things that are here on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't think we've done this yet, I've been meaning to. I wanna come down at night whenever all the lights are on. But check this out, Snow White Cafe Bar and Restaurant. There's even a wax museum here in Hollywood. <sighs> See, you gotta love this place. Oh, would you look at this in Hollywood and of course run into Michael Myers. <sighs> How perfect. You're looking awesome, man. Creepy as hell, as always. We have a giant's house, an upside down house, and a museum of illusions. It's not that far of a walk, it's pretty much a block. And it's right over here on the other side of McCadden Place where you'll find Betty White's star on the Walk of Fame. There's a bit of a crowd of people here, so. Oh, wow. Now, she was well-loved, that's for sure. I like that right over here towards the back, there's a giant cut out of her. Look at that. Man, what a life she's lived, right? 
I'm taking the camera off the gimbal. So I apologize if it gets a little shaky here. But there's just so much to look at. Remember I told you she loved animals? Look at that photo right there. Wow. You know, I think this is the first big Hollywood celebrity death since we've moved here. And I love that people do this to the stars on the Walk of Fame. Now, ever since we moved to Hollywood, everybody asks us time and time again, why on earth would you move there? Well, this has been a childhood dream of mine to be living here amongst this, this type of history. Jessica and I are the least political people on the face of the planet. We don't really care about any of that. We're all about the history and walking history and movies and old Hollywood history is what really interests us. Now, being here for something like this and witnessing this, of course it's sad, but it's making me love our new town, our new hometown even more. Absolutely love Hollywood. And with that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time here in Los Angeles, paying our respects to the legendary Betty White. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that in state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a 